so after a whole bunch of jimni videos we are finally back to where uh, our heart lies and that is big and old japanese suvs so uh, as i've been mentioning now and then uh, that uh, in the ibex trailblazers group we've got uh, a whole bunch of uh, old japanese suvs which i actually haven't been able to cover a lot so now today what we making the most of our uh, hot and humid sunday and what we've done is we brought three lc 100s together all uh, owned within the group itself and uh, these are in different stages of uh, being prepped i would say or being restored or resto mod uh, i'll i'll begin with this one right here all three of them are inline 6 the 1 hd engine 24 valve probably uh, i think the best inline 6 motor uh, toyota has ever made it's it's being used in multiple multiple vehicles so what i'll share with you is the kind of process that goes into setting up a vehicle we've picked these up uh, this one specially we picked it up very cheap it had a lot of faults uh, still a lot of faults need to be rectified but i'll quickly run you through uh what all has been done and what all is yet to be done so this one is a 2034 model vehicle and uh, i believe i think this is a 2003 not not a 4 this is a 2003 japanese spec lc 100 and uh, same it's got the winter package two batteries and uh, it came with these wheels itself it's got a very common uh, coming to the front it's got a very common lexus kit so these were the preferred preferred models to uh, to be converted to the lx470 uh, but clarifying one thing the lx470 or the cygnus as they used to call it in japan never came with a diesel engine so every diesel uh, lc100 that you see with the split headlamp set and the smaller grill and the projector fog lamps is always a kit the kit can be a genuine lexus toyota part or it can be an aftermarket chinese accessory as well but this was what the dealers back then used to do to kind of take it up in pricing and value so this has a lexus kit it is a proper lc 100 which was supposed to look like that but it's got a changed bonnet this this we got it as it is and most of all of these three are embassy vehicles only so uh, for the trial we running it on a set of chinese tires there's a lot to be done it will be getting a front bumper as well but the whole idea of making this video is to show you the process actually so in this one i am not sure if it will be visible but if you can come that side this one's already running a brand new iron man uh, suspension set and that's a nitro gas suspension uh, hard to get that angle but yeah uh, it's a uh, it's an iron man suspension with the uh, stock 17 inch wheels these tires are just to have it run around we're waiting for 18 inch wheels and this one will be getting uh, 35 by 12 and a half bfgs but that is all a work in progress uh needs a new set of keys as well and uh, if you can come this side i'll quickly show you we had really nasty looking uh, rain visors that we've pulled off this will be cleaned up and done in white uh, done in black uh the rear view is currently broken so we've just pasted a piece of glass there uh so this is how a work in progress happens the main issue with this vehicle uh if you can come around here the main issue with this vehicle you see the interior needs redoing uh there's there's quite a lot of work that has to go into the vehicle uh but the main issue was the automatic transmission this has the four speed uh, boat shifter automatic so that has just been rebuilt so the vehicle is now back on the road and uh, now the other stuff begins the cosmetic part will happen at the end first we'll get it running properly so the air oil fuel and transmission all filters have been changed uh, all fluids have been changed the differential fluids have been changed so that way it is good to go uh, another very uh, particular thing about these models if you can bring the camera in used to be the head unit so this has uh, these being japanese import vehicles these had the japanese uh, language uh, interactive displays along with uh, the controls which were mated to that very display so now i'll show you something very interesting uh, what we've got here is a very recently launched and a beautiful set of uh, 
uh, Android display. This is an Android display which will take up all OEM couplers. It will go into the exact spot. It fits in the exact same location as the stock set. And this will also run your AC controls as well. So this is this was bought in the US and hand carried uh, by our friend Arjun who owns this one. So this will go in very soon. And uh, so, so the Japanese replacements were very hard to find. These came up like a couple of years back only. And also there's a whole bunch of other electric items. There's, there's all sorts of cables and couplers and uh, all of these go with the with the head unit only and also we've got some replacement rear uh, reflectors genuine led turn signals so a whole a whole lot of parts there's quite a lot of other stuff that is lying at home we'll get a new flooring so this is a work in progress so this is what a vehicle looks like it might appear to be shabby but uh, this is what these look like before, uh, you know, the actual work is done. Uh, the tail lamps were in a very sad shape, so those have been changed. And uh, the rear, this is my favorite rear tailgate. So, as you see, the Cygnus branding is in there. And uh, the carpets need a lot of work. But that is all for the last, last phase. First is the mechanical bit. So, now this one uh, has just gotten done with the transmission rebuild. So, now it is good to go. We are waiting for the alloy wheels to come in. We have imported a set of four alloys. So, those will be coming in very soon. And after that, we will get to the cosmetic parts. Uh, supposed to get a bumper, supposed to get new wheels, fresh, set of, uh, fresh coat of paint, a lot of small cosmetic bits and it will be set for the next 10 years again. So, this is the beauty of these Japanese vehicles. They will never get old as long as you are giving them enough uh, love, I would say. Uh, now quickly coming to the next one, uh, this is what an almost uh, complete uh, work in progress, what was a work in progress now looks like. So this was earlier owned by uh, a friend of ours only, he had a lot of extra electrical bits. All of those have been pulled out. What I like to do is the vehicle should be as close to OEM as possible. And uh, so this one, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly take you through what all has been done. We had shared a video where the bull bar was installed. This is a 2021 spec uh, latest series LED uh, fog lamp and LED turn signals bull bar by Iron Man. Thanks to Zach, this was specially imported for this vehicle. So this one is a little unique. This is a 2002-3 uh, Euro spec. Out of all these, out of these three, this is the most capable one. We'll quickly get to that. Uh, so the bull bar is in. All oils, all fluids, all filters have been redone. Uh, old vehicles, they develop a lot of, uh, you know, particular, peculiar issues. This one has a small earthing issue. So there's an earth leak somewhere. And that bad earth, what it is doing, it is draining the batteries if it stays parked for every, even for like a week or 10 days. So we are still trying to diagnose that earth and after that we'll be doing a master switch which once you turn it off it, it, it's like a master off so it'll cut off all electrical connections so this vehicle how it is different is this is not a japanese spec vehicle this is a european spec uh, lc100 i'll quickly show you what i'm talking about So a lot of differences in the interiors as well, your uh, turn signals and everything else, the controls are on the other side. But this is the main bit. If you look carefully, it says Toyota Motor Europe Marketing and Engineering. So this is a Euro spec vehicle, your turn signals are on the other side and uh, no uh, AC vents in the back. This has only one row of AC vents. So these LCs, they came in a whole, whole bunch of different uh, specs. Uh, the bull bar has been changed. The grill we've retained as the OEM one. Fresh set of headlamps that makes the vehicle look very new. And uh, the main part is this one as well, if you can bring the camera in. This one also has a nitro gas Iron Man uh, suspension set. Uh, yeah, hard to get that angle, but yeah, that, that is the suspension we're running. With changed front torsion bars. 
uh, we imported the set of uh, black rhino wheels. Uh, these were brought in by Saurabh from Paya 4x4 and it's running a 285, 70, 17 uh, BFGs. Five tires and four wheels. The spare is the stock uh, alloy itself. So this is there. Those wheels are forged series, very good wheels. And now I'll show you the interiors. So what makes this one unique is uh, the interiors are pretty okay. The, the seats will need a redoing sometime soon. But the best part is this is a manual. It's a five-speed manual. And if you can bring the camera here, this is what makes all the difference. We've got a differential locker. It's got a rear diff lock. Of course, with the central diff lock, which is on a switch in all LCs. I'll, I'll also show you that switch as well. This is an electronic central differential lock. And for some reason, the I don't know if Europeans own those many uh, set of uh, sunglasses, but it has four of those in the top. Uh, I don't know why, but that is there. The AC controls are manual in this one, easy to maintain, no, no other uh, worries. So the rear is also pretty clean. I'll show you the backside as well. And this one is like an 85% like an done project. Uh, the back is a little different. Uh, this one has the Land Cruiser branding on top. And again, the split tailgate. So as I told you, we've pulled out a lot of electronics. So those have come out. The audio wiring is being sorted. So once that bad earth is diagnosed, I think we should be pretty much done with it. The only thing missing in this vehicle is a winch. And we'll be doing towing points in all three vehicles. So that's two LCs. Now, coming to the third one. This one, uh, this one was picked very, very recently, like two, three, three months back. So still in various stages of being fixed up. The no paintwork has been done as of now. It's just been thoroughly cleaned. The vehicle was parked for the last four, five years. The previous owners had quite a few other vehicles. They were not using it. And this one also is a 2003-4 spec manual vehicle. So manuals are easier to maintain, I would say. Not like, not that the autos give you a lot of trouble, but uh, the manuals are of course always, you know, they, they worry you less. So it's got a different uh, set of headlamps. So these ones, if you can see, this is part one, this is part two. This came in two parts. This is a single unit headlamp with the differently shaped uh, projector. These are all OEMs. Nothing's been changed as of now. Um, the LCs, as I just spoke, they've come in almost all countries of the world. And they've come in tons of different specs and different models and different variants. So all three are the same vehicle, but a lot of difference in spec. Like this one has a single fuel tank. The unique thing about this one is this has got a sub tank as well. So the total capacity sits around 170 to 180 liters. So two fuel tanks. And currently we're running a set of LC200 wheels that we pulled off another project. And uh, the next thing in line is uh, an Ironman lift kit. Again, with new wheels and new tires, but that is only once the complete mechanical job is done. This one is waiting for a fresh clutch plate. Uh, not that the current one has gone bad, but uh, these things, they age a lot. And if the vehicle has been parked for a very long time, it is always advisable to change out the consumables. All vehicles, we've changed out all filters, air, oil, fuel, uh, transmission in that one as well. These ones are manual, so no transmission filter. These have gotten... A fresh clutch blade. This has a fresh clutch. This will be getting a fresh clutch very soon. And all bushes, they've been changed. All basic rubber parts, it is always advisable to change them. So that has been done. Uh, the antennas have to be made functional. That one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This is the only one with a working antenna. And uh, I'll show you the interior as well. If you can come around this side. Uh, so this one has a beige... Uh, interior with manual controls so in spite of being japanese spec there is no problem with uh, you know getting it running that way so this is their neat looking vehicle no diff lockers here but i'll quickly take you to the rear uh, the handles are chrome and this one needs a fresh tail lamp and again the rear is this is the third vehicle and it's got a different rear end now so the whole idea of making this video was, uh, you know, 
the, the stages and steps in which these vehicles get prepped and the kind of work that goes into it. And the end result is always going to be very, very, you know, fruitful and something that gives you happiness. So we'll conclude with that. Yeah, this one needs a fresh set of tail lamps as well. And we'll conclude with that. And I think uh, another two to three months, we should have these ready. The waiting time is mainly on the wheels that you import. Because these have a very, very unique PCD 150 by 5 does not come on any other vehicle. So we'll do an update in the next two to three months showing how these look once the entire work has been done. Thank you so much. Please do share your comments and feedbacks. Thank you.